Jalen Fletcher was atop the EPC South, entering their Friday night showdown with Whitehall with his 691 rushing yards and 11 scores. Thanks to the biggest night so far of his senior year, the running back made sure he'd be number one in all of the East Penn Conference. Fletcher notched huge runs of 63, 41, and 71, each of those big plays leading to short scores for Freedom. The second one setting up Ethan Neidig for his second one-yard punch in, making it 14-0 Freedom with 6.46 left in the first. Whitehall did create a spark late in the quarter when Aiden Parvell hauled in the interception, which led to a Nigel Linton 62-yard scoring run. Linton finished with 146 yards rushing on the night. Zeph's down by just a score after one. But Fletcher and his O-line continued to muscle past an undersized Whitehall defense. His longest run of the night of 71 yards, once again setting up a first and goal situation. Fletcher with the finish this time on the two-yard score, that giving his team a 14-point lead early in the second. After a 23-yard field goal from the visitors, Whitehall would trail 21-10 at the break. Fletcher's second touchdown of the night, putting things out of reach for Whitehall in the second half. Owen Johnson also getting into the scoring column for the Pates, making it 33-10 in the fourth. Whitehall would find another score, but just too much to overcome as the home team takes it in a 33-17 final. I was very quick to, to point out that we have some things to fix, and, and there were some mistakes tonight that would be backbreakers in, in some games down the road. But that being said, you got to feel good about getting a win against a, a team like Whitehall, a win on homecoming, which is big for our school and our community. And, um, you know, we're going to celebrate this thing the right way. There's no doubt about it. The glory comes after a win on Friday night, but it's the week of preparation leading up to it that actually has been the biggest factor for these Patriots during now what has become a four game win streak. I don't think our mindset really changed that much. We're just continuing to take it one week at a time and we're just practicing way harder than we uh, did the first couple of weeks. And I think that definitely translate onto the field. I just think this group is very special. We got a lot of heart. And we play uh, tough, physical, uh, freedom football. Um, it's just practice. We practice how we want to play in the game. So practice translates to the game as always time. So we practice hard. We're going to play hard in the game. So it translates on, on, to, on Fridays. On the scene at BASD, I'm Cassie Schmidt reporting for the SC Network.